Welcome to my Diablo 4 Open Beta Build Showcase. Today, I'll be showing off an interesting Storm Earth Werebear build that uses like Wind Shear, Pulverize, Earthen Bulwark, Trample, Quick Shift, and Cladicism. Let's start off with Wind Shear. It's the fast moving wind bullet that can hit multiple enemies in line. It's a great generator skill. And if you have the right node right here, you can generate three spirit for each enemy you hit beyond the first and you'll get that 20% chance of doing vulnerability for four seconds. This will allow you to spam your core skill way more often because of a lot of spirit you can get, uh, especially in a mob. And you can get vulnerability to allow you to do more damage to the enemy. Your core skill will be pulverized, which is a ground pounding AOE move. And the next node, it will give you an overpower buff after 10 seconds after using pulverized. So your next one will be guaranteed overpowered as long as you remain healthy. And then if you also get this node, it allows you to do two seconds of stun. This will be your main source of damage. When it comes to defense, you want the Earthen Bulwark. It gives you shield to prevent damage. And if you get the node right here, you can actually fire sharples after being destroyed and expire. This works against like all kinds of enemies, unlike the Cyclone Armor, which is only against non-physical attacks, unless you get that legendary that gives you it. But this will makes you also unstoppable and you can use this to go in and out of situations and you can just tank stuff. So you put in those points into those skills until you skip the companion tree and we'll go straight into this another useful skill here, Trample. It is a 14 second cooldown which you dashes forward and push everything out of the way. And every additional enemy that you hit, it will do extra damage. And you want the node that gives you a fortify every time you actually use the trample. So this will be your fortified building skill. All right, finally, you'll be shifting in and out in human form and wearable form. So quick shift is a must have. For your ultimate, I went with Cataclysm because that will allow you to just lay down a storm and just keep doing your other skills. I also in turn got natural fortitude that allows me to keep getting more fortified while I keep swifting back and forth. All right, let's just take a look at my gear and my stats. So this is my strain, intelligence, willpower, dexterity. This is my weapon damage, weapon speed, crit chance, crit damage, overpower, overpower damage. Not the best, but it's what I have. <laughs> Defense, I got life on kill, which is good. Got some thorns in there as well. Uh, armor, 1,877, maximum life. These are both higher than my rogue, by the way. But my dot chance is a lot lower. This is 6%, my rogue is like 15 something. These are my resistances, all damage reduction, close, distance, while fortified. Then I got maximum spirit of 106. And there's some spirit reduction and movement speed, cooldown reduction, and lucky chance. So these aren't like the best gear or anything, but I have this, which gives me a raven, which is nice passive. It gives me a bunch of stats from helmet. And it gives me earth skill, slow down enemy. So this is for like shield. So when I do my earth and bulwark, and then after it's done, it will slow down enemy. I can get out and then rejuvenate my spirit. And because then usually I use this, I unload everything and then I jet out of there. It's like a kind of hit and run kind of thing. <laughs> but you can play it differently. It depends what other equipment you got. Then I got my armor, which if I do get hit and then I'll pull a bubble around it so I can stay there longer or if I need to like pot or I need to like, I don't know, regenerate something. And it gives me earth and bulwark, so which is nice. Then we have gloves. This allow me to use my basic skill because I'll be using a lot as a generator so I can keep spamming Pulverize and it make my Pulverize stronger. So it has plus one rank to Pulverize, crit chance overpower damage, which is great. I don't use Landslide though. I wish that I could change that, but that's what the game gave me. Here we have pants. I imprinted this, um, I think from a different pants or shoes or something. So since I'll be shifting a lot back to human with the generator and Pulverize and, and Trample and then generator then storm like cataclysm i'm going to be shifting in and out so i'll get life and if i have full life i'll just get fortify which is great right <laughs> then we have this boots that has a plus one max in base so i get an extra dash so that's like the main one that i want and then um i have this lucky hit thing that if i hit a crowded and control enemy there's a chance that i'll spread to something else because i'll be actually stunning a lot because of my pulverize overpowered or when I trample, hit them with a wall, and then I hit them again and then spread them to all the other mobs. Alright, we got my weapon here. 
um, for the extra crit while they're injured. So I believe is like less than 30% or something. And then healthy when they're, when I'm healthy, more than 80% then I have more resistant to CC. So I get less crowd control. Um, mostly use that like a stats thing. And then this, this legendary is just nice. So I have an amulet here that I imprinted. All right. So the stats were pretty nice. Cooldown reduction, movement speed, maximum life, all good things. Cause life will give me more fortify. So I imprinted this damaging elite because I like the barrier skill. And then if you put an amulet, I think you get like a bonus. So I imprint this, from, I think from the codex actually. So I actually get a barrier. Then we got a ring. I got this from my rogue actually. It found it. And then I just brought it over here. I do vulnerable damage. So it's great with the wind shear. And then basic skills. I just make my wind shear faster. So I keep shooting hella quick. I do have chip skulls on here. I believe chip skulls on jewelry give you armor. And then I have a uh, ruby on this one, which gives me extra life. Yes. And then this give me fortify damage reduction on fortify, which is great. I'll be fortified all the time. Anyway, back to this ring. This gives me lightning damage, which I don't think it's useful anymore. I don't use it anymore. I used to have a thing where actually I think it's right here that critical strike will summon lightning. So that used to be a thing I used, but I don't use that anymore just because this thing has just better DPS, right? It's lower. And this core skill can do extra percent damage based on amount of fortify and I'll be fortifying a lot. So it's, it's nice. Then we got this nice totem here that's skill deal 34% increased damage based on my primary source. So, so I like to be full all the time. So that's why I have the generator, right? It allowed me to do full. And then when I'm using full power, maximum benefit. It's pretty, it's, it's like max stats. Look at it, 24 to 34%. Yeah. So that's it for my Diablo 4 open beta showcase. I hope you found this how useful and you can use this to create your own awesome build. But yeah, thanks for watching. Later days. I mean, if you like mill, that's fine. Ow. Get that flesh thing out of here. Yeah. Get away. 